the world. Like it's just unicorns and happiness and clouds and you know, just very happy. <laughs> pretty much like the alternate um, time of what it's it really comes down to what if right like what if yeah. we would have been born a different way with more privileges and they would have been that so I think that he made it very clear to how they were supposed to look or, or be um, and I imagine that they do look like that um, just without you know all the fancy hat and you know, yeah <laughs> and so this is like how that. he thinks they would look and things had went right in their life. So yeah, I think that's a very good uh, illustration of that. And then, um, so here's this one. Um, so do you guys kind of remember what was going on during the time of this picture? This is from the power that came around. We went to, they called some of the dancers, the chicken dancers. And they thought they were entertaining. Yeah, it looks pretty entertaining, right? Okay. And then this one is kind of strange. Do you know the meaning of that one? Um, this one was shown after he got um, beat up by those three triplet guys. And then, um, like, Rowdy was asking him um, if they hit him in his head and stuff like that. And he was just trying to convince him that he's fine and stuff. where um, the teacher was like inviting the student 
And I think that is what got his attention and really allowed him to like receive what Mr. P was saying um, because he was confiding. And yeah. So I mean, think about it. These pictures really kind of just go together because when Mr. P talks to him, this is when you know that idea of hope comes up. And so I feel like yeah, this is definitely a big part of you know driving the plot forward. Um, any other pictures that kind of stood out to you? Talked about the one of him in the anthill. Oh. Um, and just how in this image it seems kind of hopeless, and um, we can't really see a way of him getting out of that situation. And we think that's kind of how he feels about moving schools. Um, he has this idea of hope, but he doesn't really know what it looks like. So he feels trapped and is just kind of going with his gut and hoping that it works out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's definitely a strong image. Like, he was very hopeless right there. All right. So do you think we kind of covered most of the important ones? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll move on. Um, so who had number three? You guys? Okay. So any particular person you want to start with? Yeah, I think um, the, it was interesting, the illustration of the grandma, just because I feel like a lot of his description of her was just like how much he, like how great he thought she was and like all of her like characteristics, um, but it didn't really talk about what she looks like visually, and so I think this was kind of a cool way to bring that to the reader, you know? Yeah, yeah I really love his illustrations of, the, of his family, but they're also like the
links are below with the, um, the suit that they went to the dance. Um, he couldn't afford a suit, so he just wore his dad's yeah. old suit. And she actually really enjoyed, like, Penelope actually really enjoyed the suit, but yeah. it was more just because he couldn't really afford it. Yeah, and I really liked just when he finally did confess that he was poor and, her, and his friends were so quick to help him out. Like, I think that doesn't happen very often, and it, it is true when he says, like, sometimes when you do let people into your life, they can really do amazing things, and I love that part of the book. All right, so we'll just move on to the last group then. Um, so, you guys, right? Uh, yeah, okay. So, um, any particular one you want to start with? Page. Sure. Second. Sorry. Second. Second. Oh. Um, we really like the one on the left to start with when he's talking about, or sorry, the other side, our left. Um, when he's talking about all the real reasons that he was to school, and it's kind of like, um, as like his teachers only see that he's missing school, and they kind of just assume that he's skipping or whatever, but um, in the other boxes he has just all of these really heavy burdens that like someone that age kind of shouldn't have to deal with on yeah. a daily basis, but you know, he deals with a lot of death, he can't find a ride to school very much, he doesn't have hardly any money, and, and his mom's always leaning on him because of all these deaths, and um, his dad's always